Good morning, it's Stephanie from the Larue Family Homestead. I know it's early, it's like 6.30 in the morning, but I have to uh, use my time wisely. So everybody's still asleep and I've got some time. Now I've got to go milk the cow here in just a minute. And um, so I was going to hop on and just say good morning to everybody. And I hope everybody's had a good couple weeks. I know we're a little bit behind on update videos, but we're fixing to catch you up on what else happened on the farm. Um, so I'm going to walk around and kind of show everything as morning rolls around and everybody's kind of quiet right now except for the chickens. They start at like 4.30 in the morning. Um, oh yeah, and show you my, my shirt. Farm Fresh Eggs and Free Range Children. I figure at this point that pretty much defines who we are. We might keep watching. Okay, I just went around and checked on everybody and watered whoever was out of water. So now I'm going to go gather my stuff and milk Elsie and I will be done for the morning. You can kind of see behind me there's some rain clouds and I think it's supposed to rain for like or better of rain for the next week, I think. So uh, I'll be out trying to get stuff done while it's not raining. So anyway, go milk the cow. Okay, so I've gathered all my stuff and I'm about ready to milk Elsie. I will say that this is my favorite part of the day. It's usually quiet, but it's probably not going to be quiet today. Um, I'm working on weaning some goats and they're not real happy about it. So they're letting me know by being loud. Up! One of the pure pups was playfully chasing a chicken. And that's not his job.
one hour later. <laughs> okay. So that pretty much wraps up what we do here in the mornings as far as checking on the animals and Milk and Elsie. We have since then kept our niece Kylie who we keep some through the week and we're getting ready now to go to some appointments in town. Um, there's some other things that we have done, accomplished and gotten finished or uh, several things were born. We've had a couple calves and a litter of piglets born in the last two weeks since my last update video. So. I will try to get all of that stuff updated on the end of this video, but until then, if you like what you see here, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also have a Facebook page at the LaRue Family Homestead, and is there anything else? Uh, he said Facebook. I did. <laughs> Tell him bye. But also YouTube. Also bye. YouTube. Bye. Nate got this gate put in for me. We've had a uh, cattle panel here. We've been using as a gate with clevises for two years, I guess. So we officially have a gate back here behind the shed. Oh my word, look at the pollen. We've got a storm coming in. You can't probably see it, but there's pollen blowing, I guess out of the pine trees. It literally looks foggy. Anyway, back to the gate. That was an accomplishment for the last week. Okay, so this next piece I'm going to add, but I've been on the fence about putting it in or not. So we come home after we took our moms out for Mother's Day to find our jersey was in labor. And at this point, I didn't know how far along she was but she was standing in the back with her tail out. So I told the kids to watch her and I ran in the house to change clothes. The kids came in and told me that she was pushing. So we have video of her birthing the calf. Um, I did step in and assist because we had been back there washing probably 15 or 20 minutes and of her pushing and she actually had the hooves out at, at one point for at least 15 minutes. And I didn't know how long she had been in labor up until that point. I personally, especially with this cow who is not going to, you know, get too tore up about me helping, would rather help and assist pull the calf um, and have a vigorous, lively mom to take care of the calf once it's born than to let it go on too long where mom tires out. So you will see me step in and assist Elsie. Um, again, if this is not your cup of tea, you don't want to watch it, or you have small children, please turn off the video now. You will not hurt my feelings at all. I have been on the fence about adding it, but this does show farm life. This shows something we do and we see um, pretty much as real as it gets here. So. Anyway, again, if you have small children or you don't want to watch a cow birth, <laughs> turn off the video. Hope y'all have a great weekend. Okay, feet. Keep coming, Mama. Oh, good job. Get in there if I need to get this back off.
Ha, 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 ha.